Yeah, so third question in your leaderboard is, a 40 year old woman presents to the rheumatology outpatient clinic with a three month history of stiff hands and as well as wrist. She mentions that pain is particularly bad first thing in the morning. Okay, on examination, the wrist, metacarpophalangeal joints and proximal interphalangeal joints are swollen and warm. So, wrist is affected, MCP, PIP, they are swollen and as well as warm. A diagnosis of rheumatoid arthritis is suspected and blood test for the rheumatoid factor returns as positive. So, the RA factor is positive. What is the most appropriate management in this particular patient? The options are non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs. Second option, intramuscular depot injections of methylprednisolone plus NSAIDs. Anti-TNF therapy. Fourth option, intramuscular depot injections of methylprednisolone plus NSAIDs and methotrexate and sulfasalazine. And fifth option, physiotherapy. Now, if you see the explanation of this particular question here, the answer first of all is your NSAIDs, non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs. Now, let me explain you. Just hold on for 2-3 minutes to listen to the complete explanation. Most patients, they will be offered NSAIDs first by the general practitioner or over the counter. But if these NSAIDs fail, then referral to the hospital rheumatology is very much required. And if NSAIDs do not resolve the symptoms, therapy would be escalated to include methotrexate and other disease modifying anti rheumatic drugs. But according to the recent guidelines, the drug of choice is your methotrexate. But in the options given to you, you do not have any option having only methotrexate. So, the other option which is left out is your NSAIDs. Even though in your fourth option methotrexate is given, but along with methotrexate, steroids are also there and NSAIDs are also there, sulfasalazine is also there. That is the reason why your fourth option is not the correct answer. So, because the methotrexate is not given in your option, NSAIDs becomes the first answer, right? And if with the NSAIDs, if the control is not adequate, you can start the disease modifying anti rheumatic drugs that is your methotrexate. But the point is why are we giving NSAIDs then first? The disease modifying anti rheumatic drugs, the action is not very quick in onset, right? So, it will take a period of weeks to have the onset of its action, the disease modifying anti rheumatic drugs. So, in order to have a quick pain relief, we start the patient with the NSAIDs. And this DMARTs, that is disease modifying anti rheumatic drugs should be offered early within the treatment of the disease to limit the joint destruction. See what is the problem in the rheumatoid arthritis as the time is progressing there is development of the deformities because of the joint destruction. So, in order to prevent the joint destruction this particular DMARTs they have to be started right they have to be started early in the course of the disease. Next now you take the story of the steroids. Short term steroid therapy is useful for controlling the disease flares and can be given by oral, intramuscular and the intraarticular routes. So, what you need to remember now? When we should give steroids? The steroids are given only whenever there is a flare of the disease, right? Next. Now, you take the second option that is intramuscular depot injections of methylprednisolone and NSAIDs. This will be very useful in managing the symptoms of the flare, but they will not alter the disease course. Your NSAIDs and steroids only for a relief of pain at that moment of time, but they are not going to alter the course of the disease. So, your B will not be the answer. You take anti-TNF therapy. Anti-TNF therapy is reserved for patients who have active disease despite DMARTs. Already you have given like two trials of DMARTs. Still the disease is an active disease. That is the point when you need to start this particular anti-TNF therapy. Okay. 
right and this anti tnf therapy it includes mainly the biological agents and all now you take this physiotherapy physiotherapy is very useful and should be encouraged but physiotherapy alone cannot control the symptoms or the disease course and making this answer incorrect so the answer in this particular question is your nsaids in patients with the rheumatoid arthritis that has to be started and if methotrexate was the option only methotrexate then that would be the answer okay